Hi dreamers! So, I'm really excited for today. This is my first Plants vs. Zombies playthrough, walkthrough, tips, give or take, and I've always wanted to document myself playing this game just for the fun of it, so I'm super excited for this. Um, I have named our account Dreamworld because I am playing alongside you guys, so this is definitely something that I want to be a uh, me on viewer thing. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Sweet. So, for those of you who haven't played Plants vs. Zombies, this is a game where you have to protect your house from a bunch of zombies. So we're gonna explain it here. Okay. So this is the tutorial. I'm gonna go through this today. So we're gonna plant our first pea shooter. This is like your basic plant. Now collect the sun. This will be very important later on. My suggestion is for this early level, just plant the pea shooters. It's gonna get boring at the beginning, but for beginners, I know for a fact that it also can be quite stressful to play this game. So my advice is for this, just collect the sun and place as pea shooters as needed. If you have two pea shooters, two pea shooters up like this, it you're pretty much set because two pea shooters pretty quickly kill a regular zombie like this. Don't worry, it gets much harder, but this is your basic level just so you get the feel of the game. Collect the sun, plant the plants. Pretty simple. And then at the end of each level, there's like a big wave. It, it'll warn you. It'll say a huge wave of zombies is approaching. So that's your warning. Like, okay, set up anything else you need. And we're done with this level. All right. This is probably the most iconic Plants vs. Zombies plant because you need it in every level. All right, so we're just gonna keep playing on. And as we go on, it adds more rows. So obviously this is gonna get slightly more complicated. I've played through this game before, so it's not complicated for me, but the first thing you, you guys are gonna wanna do, plant the sunflower. Sunflowers are the most important thing to get done right off the bat because that's what's gonna give you the stuff you need to plant your defense and your offense. In this case, offense. Like it'll, I think it said earlier, try to have at least three sunflowers. I just put one in each row, maybe two, once you get up to more expensive plants. Um, in this case, I'm gonna hold off a little bit. I'm just gonna plant this pea shooter. Make sure it lines up with the right row, obviously. The music in this game is so iconic, so if I start humming it, I apologize. Okay, so we're generating pretty good amounts of sun, so I'm not going to plant another row. But in general, I try to have two rows so that I can keep my defense and my offense going up as needed. And I don't have to worry about running low on sun at a very quick rate, because in some levels, that will be a problem. But since we're in the tutorials right now, should be pretty straightforward. If you want things to go by faster, go ahead and plant another row of pea shooters. It'll speed some things up. Oh, lucky. It walked right in the row I wanted it to. So for these beginner levels, I don't have too many tricks or tips to give out because, I mean, this is pretty simple. You just plant how you need to plant and you have the sunflowers you need and the huge wave is going to come up right now and then we'll be done. Sweet! So now we've got a new plant. 
This is going to be our first of the instant kills. When you plant this, it explodes a 3x3 area and kills all zombies in contact. So this is definitely a useful plant. But if you've been watching, you'll notice that each plant has a recharge time. So, and that this plant is more expensive. So, you know, more of a save it when you need it plant. I'm gonna play three more levels. Um, ah, see? These zombies have cones on their heads. So they're a little bit harder to kill. I recommend that you have at least two pea shooters in the row that the cone heads appear on because otherwise your plants will get yeah i don't think we've seen this yet but once a zombie gets up to a plant they start eating it and then eventually they swallow it and it's gone so you definitely want to be aware of that i would say oh okay i'm gonna wait on planting this sunflower simply because i want to get my offense set up right now see if you're noticing, the cherry bomb recharges much more slowly than both the sunflower and the pea shooter. So, I'm not gonna plant one anytime soon, but I'll try to show you how it works when the huge wave comes along. So, for now, I'm just gonna hold off, get some more pea shooters down. I'm debating on whether I want a second row of sunflowers. I think we'll be okay for this level simply because we're only dealing with three rows. Friends. <laughs> Friends. Friends. I would also like to note that this tutorial and tips and tricks are for beginners, as I am a beginner myself. So, if you are an expert in video games, you will be fine. However, this is here if you need it, and for personal documentation purposes. And also, it's just fun to play. This game is fun to play. Ah, here's a cone head. So, you're definitely going to want to have two pea shooters, because otherwise it'll get too far, and it'll come up and eat your plants, and you do not want to deal with that. So, basically, with when zombies have things on their heads, they are stronger. See? It got that far with two pea shooters. It would take double the time to kill it if there was only one, and that would probably result in some plant skin, which is not good. So, that's why I recommend this. But we have plenty of sun, so I'm not worried. You shouldn't be worried, it's the tutorial. But, right now it's pretty straightforward. Sometimes later, games and levels cause you need more strategy for it but for this you are you have to work with what you're given ah here we go all right i'll show you how the cherry bomb works now so basically like i said earlier it's an instant kill so i'm gonna wait for the zombies to come out a little bit more so that we can get all of them at once so basically it's a three by three area or yeah a three by three area instant blow up and you win the level this is your basic defensive plant wall nut yes there are many puns in this game and i love it but this is good for when say i'll try to show you but hopefully it doesn't come to that say you can't plant another pea shooter in time for a cone head but you have a walnut and that buys you a lot of time so now that we need to cover more ground i'm going to be planting more sunflowers because we're going to need more sun i usually plant the first two sunflowers right off the bat okay yeah Again, once you have the pea shooter down, you should be fine. No need to stress. So here's a good example. If that guy... I don't have enough sun yet, 
So I'm going to put up a walnut and get my sunflowers set up first. That's a totally fine decision. I normally wouldn't do this, but I want to show you how the walnut works. So usually a plant would have been eaten by now, but since it's a defense-based plant, we have more time. He's going to be eating that for a while, so we can focus on this one right here. And it's only just starting to get cracked, and we have plenty of time to kill it. So this will be good. Ooh. Here's another one where I think a walnut would be useful. I don't- I'm not able to put another pea shooter out right away. So, we're gonna have to stall this guy a little bit before we can get up some more offense. Walnut's well, pretty cheap, but it is a little slower on the recharge time, so don't rely too much on it. Get your offense up if you can, but this usually shouldn't be a problem. See? We got rid of that guy pretty fast. So, the walnuts slowly, like, you know, get cracked down as they get eaten, so if eventually that's going to be much easier to deal with, but right now, since we have our defense up now and our offense up, we should be fine. Ooh, see, that guy got a little close. That made me a little too antsy I would put up the walnut, but I know how this game works and I know the timing by this point, so it's not too hard to deal with. Usually, if it's about to die, don't worry. But if it still had some health up, I would definitely have stuck a walnut down. Okay, so we're in a good spot here. Each row has two pea shooters. We're almost at the final wave. And nothing too difficult is coming around here. Nice. I'm gonna plant a walnut here just for symmetrical purposes. Should we cherry bomb them? I think we should. I'm sorry if I sound bored, but I've played this game so much that I'm like so excited to unlock the later levels already. So now since it's a 3x3, three three, it's only gonna kill those zombies. But the two here are pretty defenseless, so no need to worry, and we are done. This is a really useful tool. Nice. Ooh, so I guess this will be the last level of this episode. I plan to do five-ish each. Sorry I skipped the dialogue. So this is Crazy Dave. He pops up every once in a while and gives you quote-unquote advice. So we're going to see what he has to show us. Alrighty. Okay, so this is pretty simple. The shovel you can use in-game to remove the plants. So say you accidentally stick a walnut where you don't want it. You can dig it up. Ooh, our first mini game. This is one of the iconic soundtracks. Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. All right, we're going to go bowling. So this is fun. This throws away the rules of the normal game. All right. So each walnut kills a zombie. These red ones explode like a cherry. It's basically a cherry bomb. They take two hits to kill a cone head. Sometimes you can hit two at once. I like to let them come out a little bit so that I can maybe hit more than one zombie and let my, my defenses stack up. I always go for the one that's closest to me. So. Let's let these guys come out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, that went downwards. That's annoying. There we go. Okay, so there are three cone heads here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. How? Cool. Oh, shucks. This is one of my favorite soundtracks. I'm like dancing while I'm playing this. accidentally threw a explodo nut there, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright. So now that's the final wave. I usually like to Get rid of this guy, and then do this. And we won. So, I think with five levels, that is going to be the end of this episode. This next plant I will explain soon, and I hope to see you next time. And don't worry, it gets so much more fun after this. Hi, so after I ended, it offered me this bonus. So I'm gonna show you how this works. This is another mini game. So basically there are zombies and plants in these vases and you have to break them all and defeat all the zombies to win. So I always start in the back and go down from there because you do not want zombies popping out. Ooh. Spoiler alert for those of you all who don't know this game. This plant is another instant kill. It is a one use and it's cheaper, but I guess we'll see uh -oh, how it works in a tidbit. This plant is not unlocked until the third stage. We're still in stage one, but you will find that it is a very useful plant because every time a zombie comes too close, hmm? smash. Ooh, as I mentioned, the zombies get stronger. This is a stronger zombie and it usually would take about three pea shooters to kill it. But this guy okay. can kill more than one zombie. And instant kill almost every zombie. And usually in these mini games, it gives you about three waves. So the green ones I always break first because they're guaranteed plants. Well, there we go. Ooh, here's another more late. Well, this one's actually coming up in our game, but it's basically a pea shooter that chills the zombies, which is pretty sweet. Personally, I think it's a tad bit too expensive, so I don't usually use it, but it's still a good plan. Like, it's, it's good for the early stages. All right. I'm gonna break these first. Get at least one shooter in each row. Oh, a lot of squashes here. Oh, snap! This is a very strong zombie. One of the strongest in the game, I would say, other than you others, shall I say. Let's hope we get another squash. Because otherwise we would not make it. Actually we would, because we've got the lawnmowers. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but there are lawnmowers on the left side. They're like, if a zombie makes it, it's like your one save. It'll kill everything in one row. 
which is pretty nice, but you only get it once per level in each row. So if you lose all of them, you die. And that's not fun. So this is our last zombie of this stage. Should be a pretty quick win. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, this one's fun. I'll let him show you how he works. Well, sooner or later. Ooh. Yeah, this is a good guy to test it on. Assuming it's a guy. I don't know. I don't know if these zombies have genders. They are supposed to be male, though, apparently, so I don't know. Alrighty. So, when a zombie eats this mushroom, it turns right around, which is pretty sweet, and will attack any other zombies in its like. Oh, snap. Ooh! So that zombie that it just defeated is actually, usually, much more difficult to get rid of. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, because I don't feel it. Like nice! So that's a hint on how to beat one of the mini games. Not too hard. But, you know, still takes some strategy. So, now I will officially end the episode. I hope to see you next time, and I hope you picked up some tips on Plants vs. Zombies. Join me for new episodes and other gaming stuff and collabs and other ed um, edited videos. Have a good night or day, wherever you are, and I hope to see you next time.